balloons did not launch this morning. It's just too windy. You never know what the conditions are gonna be. I know uh, somebody said one year they were here, they only launched two days out of the nine. So a lot of people are clearing out. I don't know if it's because it's windy the next three or four days or they planned on doing that anyways. We're probably 95% full yesterday, 100% full Saturday. And I'd say it's, I don't know, probably still 85% full right now. Start figuring out what to do about this windshield because I may have to get something done while we're here in Albuquerque. I'm not sure yet. I put a mark on it. It's actually spread past the mark. Any sort of desert top landscape like this, I mean, you've got drastic temperature changes. It'll, it'll get up to, man, even 90, 95 during the day, and it'll get down in the 40s at night sometimes. So with those changes, the windshield is not like that. And so it just continues to crack farther and farther. riding around checking out some of the rvs man there are tons of rvs here and tons of people here too i mean there's even a city bike trail close to here you can hop on and ride around too so i mean it's part of why we stayed here so long was not just for the balloon fiesta we wanted to check out a couple things in the city um as we get a chance hensley's here hensley's here for the balloons i am loving the hair kid is daddy laughing at you <laughs> Nat payer don't care. <laughs> so today's Monday, and Monday and Tuesday are probably the slowest days of the balloon fiesta. Balloon? Oh crud. I said balloon. <laughs> so our other plans, we're still gonna head to Albuquerque, um, check out a couple of things, and then we're picking up Marissa's sister. <gasps> Who's coming to visit? She's bringing her a cat. <laughs> oh no. A real cat. cat, she got that through security. <laughs> <laughs> so not Mackenzie, the sister that came last time while we were around Denver. Um, this is Miranda, another one of Marissa's sisters. We're gonna pick her up at the airport, check out some Albuquerque. Oh, we're going to a pumpkin patch. Yeah, Hensley's has gotta get her lips ready first. First things first, <laughs> let me prep my lips. So pretty, that's the lid. Good job. So this is a uh, day like four with boondocking hair. <laughs> this is a little trick that a lot of people have asked how to do and you just stick a headband on there and then you roll, you just roll the hair under. That's an easy uh, day four hair. <laughs> and for my hair, <laughs> <laughs> I roll out of bed and then I leave for wherever we're going. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm feeling super ambitious like today, I'll actually uh, use some water in it. I embarrass Are you. Are you giving that. beauty tips? I am. I am. And so as far as the windshield, of course being Monday, today's the first day I could really call anybody to check on it. It's crazy how much windier it is today. So the first call I made was Newmar, kind of a Hail Mary of hey this thing cracked from the side on the driver's side confident it wasn't because of a chip or a rock or anything like that you know would you guys be willing to help us out and we will definitely throw some love your way uh, for going above and beyond so they they de they heard me out um, i sent them pictures of the crack and i'm still waiting to hear back i mean we can't be mad at newmar we know that <laughs> but but it, you know it's nice to know that they do listen and uh, they are at least looking into it Hensley has not got her balloon fixed today. We've been settling for uh, balloon videos. <laughs> well, the plan was to go to a pumpkin patch, but when we got there, it had a sign saying, go to this other address. I think Nathan's over it. <laughs> it's time to eat supper. <laughs> uh, so what do you do when the pumpkin patch <laughs> is out. We compromised and let Hensley go play. No. She's been asking for a few days and there's no playground where we're at. So. I've seen one. So this is our alternative to playgrounds. <laughs> see you, Daddy. I see you, Hensley. Here I come, Daddy.
heading to the airport. Gonna get my sister Miranda. Hensley's super excited. I know I'm excited too. We always love having people stay with us. We had tons of people say they were gonna come while we were at the balloon fiesta, but uh, she's the only one that took us up on our offer, so we're excited to have her. She's gonna get all the love. Yeah. We probably had 10 to 12 different people, I guess, say they were coming, maybe? Yeah. It was, uh, at one point, we were wondering where we put them all. <laughs> <laughs> she left Nashville today at 12 o'clock, and her flight isn't getting in to Albuquerque until 7.30, so sure. she's had a really long day. She had a long layover. I think it was like four hour layover in Atlanta, so she's probably gonna be beat, but. Sharks? You watching sharks? We got you. Oh, kitty <laughs> cat. Oh, you give any kisses? Good. Did you miss us? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Are you excited? I am excited. Very excited. It's pretty awesome. I through the pictures, it definitely looked in the video. have people over we have a pull-out couch that turns into a bed as far as the stuff it usually goes sort of in this area up here yeah I mean we love having people over but with our setup you have to be pretty precise where you put everything and then we have to bring all the blankets out and the, the stuff so it was it was nice when we had like a bunk room or something for yeah. somebody but and then too that's why I mean, we're looking, if we get a class A, I mean, we are pretty much really want that bed that goes over the top right here and comes down. I mean, yeah, that's just huge when you're having people over. They get like their own kind of space and a lot of them are big enough where you could still probably have some stuff up there if you needed to. And, Cause it's just wasted space right now. I mean, it's just sitting there. Spell it. Can you spell pretty? Are you so proud of your room? <laughs> There are not many things design-wise that um, I guess we're not too crazy about with the new more. I mean, it's been... Our neighbors are really close to us. <laughs> that screams cracking me up. I don't know what's like, just suck the cat into a vacuum or something. Um, anyways, apparently they're airing up some mattresses. <laughs> Sounds like they're rotting our RV. Uh, these sites are very close, by the way. Like, you could reach out and touch the neighbors. Uh, RV. Two things not too crazy about design wise with the RV. Uh, one is this couch when it unfolds, it comes all the way over to this edge right here. I mean, you can't tiptoe around it, you can't get around it. So, when we have company and I need to get to the door, I've got to crawl over our guests. So, not crazy about that. Another thing we're not too crazy about is the placement of the TV. Um, the TV, which it's a good placement when we're slid out. But when the RV slid in and we're traveling down the road, or if we can't slide out for the night, say we're to Walmart or something like that, we want to at least stay slid in, um, you can't use that TV at all because it's totally hidden behind the slide. But thrilled with the Newmar overall, other than just a couple of those design things. If this maybe this would be a jackknife, maybe instead, if the TV could be placed in a different spot. This is uh, my sister Miranda. Hello. She's the oldest out of uh, the seven of us kids in our family. Well, like so it. I'm like telling it. on your age like here. <laughs> I'm 29. I know I'm always 29, oh. so. Miranda's <laughs> 29 and a half. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> her mom did the impossible. So this is her first time. You've not stayed with us before, have you? Mm -hmm. No. And we're boondocking, so she's definitely gonna get the the full camping experience. <laughs> Do you want to tell her how to how to boondock? Doom dog. Doom dog. Doom dog. That's pretty close. <laughs> so we don't have any hookups, so we go off of what's in our tanks. So we do have water, and we have a generator that can give us power, um, but we have certain times that we uh turn it on and so we can take showers but we're trying to conserve water <laughs> so get to the point wash the naughty bits <laughs> <laughs> okay 
I mean, it's not drastically different from having like normal stuff in a house. It's just everything has to be quicker and in smaller quantities. All right, so electrical stuff is probably a big deal. Like, don't turn on the AC, <laughs> don't turn on the microwave, don't turn on the fireplace over here, uh, hair dryers, all that, like while the generator's not on because we're running off the batteries and they can't handle that much coming through at once. And once the generator's on, which the generator's on right now, so you can run any of that stuff when the generator's on. So we usually just like cram everything yeah. in, right? So what, we, we pretty much yell, we're like, generator's on! We like <laughs> we, plug, we plug up all our appliances and we she starts drying her hair while I turn on the you know the microwave. And... This is not stressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, some people run their generators like crazy. We try to conserve ours and just use it when we really have to. It's not it's as not, scary as it no, sounds. No, it's not that bad. It's really nice. Hensley's been uh, begging for Rand to get back there and play with her. Uh, we're going to call it a night. We'll catch you guys later.